Hi, this is Coco Natural, and I'm signing on. This is my first video tutorial, and I have gotten so many people asking me how I do my Bantu knots. So, I have, since I straightened my hair last week, I have been so eager because I went to do the BOGO with Shea Moisture at Walgreens. And I know if you logged on to my blog, you saw that I posted some of the stuff I got. I got the Curl and Shine Coke Organic, Organic, hmm, Organic Coconut and Hibiscus. Um, so I got the Curl and Shine kit for $14.99 and it's usually like about 20 bucks. So I thought I got a little deal. Um, it came with the Curl and Shine um, Hibiscus Shampoo. Came with that. Um, it came with the Hold and Shine Moisture Mist. Okay. And the Moisture Mist, it actually says that um, it's an all-natural moisture mist and eliminates frizz, it hydrates your hair, and creates brilliant shine and curl control. So that is the Hold and Shine Moisture Mist. It also came with the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. The um, nutrient-rich vegetable butters conditions your hair, restores moisture and shine, and you can apply it to your ha your hair damp or um, styled hair to enhance curls, minimize frizz, and provide curl control. And that's the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And then the last thing it came with was the Curl and Style Milk, which this is the first time I've actually tried it. All I've tried all the other things. Well, no. Um, I hadn't tried the mist yet, but the Curl and Style Milk was something I was kind of eager to try. So that was something new. And so that's what I used. I used the um, shampoo to actually wash my hair because I had straightened it. And then I used the Curl and Style Mix as a conditioner. And I actually used it as a leave-in conditioner once I was finished. Okay? And so then I also added... Um, the curl enhancing smoothie and I just brushed it through section by section and I actually even added some of the which I absolutely love Twali Waji um, black earth products her African styling oil and I just put a little bit in my hand and um, you know just to kind of rub it in and just to kind of coat myself this is kind of how I seal in my oil so I just kind of do that and make sure I really want to get those ends because, you know, that's what kind of gets frizzy first. So I'm actually going to go ahead. And this was the one thing that I did that was different. Um, one of my um, natural BFFs, sorry about that, my um, Denman dropped. But uh, one of my BFFs actually, um, for the first time, sorry, let me get this. Um, for the first time, she actually, um, and I used my Denman brush to kind of just... Um, brush everything through but she had actually used tried this murray's lock gel and i tried it on some two strand twists the other night and i absolutely loved it um they came out so pretty um but i um kept pulling at it and pulling at it and pulling at it playing at it and it made it so frizzy so i was there was no way but um this is kind of what it looks like and this is what i've been using to actually seal in my knots throughout my head so as you can see i've kind of already done most of them and i'm just going to kind of go through a tutorial and just quickly show you how i do the rest of this which is my bangs kind of my front that's going to how it's going to hang okay so I'll see you back. Bye. Okay, so here I am. I'm gonna, and I've just got a bottle with some spray, um, with some water and a little bit of oil, just so I can keep it moisturized and wet as I um, go ahead and do the knot. Knot doesn't have to be soaking wet. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of the lock gel on my um, finger. And I'm going to twist. And my hair is going to start to twist into a knot at the root already. And so I'm just going to hold that in place and twist around. And make sure I go all the way to the ends. 
and twist it and twist it and make sure I hold it and bam And I'm not really partying in any kind of particular style, you know. Um, my friend Erica also told me that, you know, sometimes when you uh, worry so much about the partying, you can kind of ruin the style and make your hair, you know, look a little too scalpy, as I call it. <laughs> like, I don't like how you can see all the scalp. You know, um, and so that's why I end up playing with my hair so much, you know, because I don't, I don't want, you know, to be able to um, see the parts where I parted my hair. So she was like, just grab your piece and twirl, just grab your piece and two strand twist it or whatever you're going to do with your hair, you know. Don't worry about parting it with your rat tooth comb all the time, you know, to get the sections. So, I've gotten a lot better about that, and I'm going to see how that kind of looks. Like I said, I've been wearing my hair straight in for the last couple of weeks, so I'm just going to, this last little section, try to moisturize all of it at the same time. My arms get so tired, y'all. You see my little basket of goodies. This is all my stuff. I just put it all in here and carry it all over the house. So, uh, no matter where I'm at, I can do my hair. And I just, you know, that is the one thing when you're doing your hair is you have got to detangle it and make sure you don't have any tangles. You know, that is going to be the key to your hairstyle success. You know, looking, you know... At least I like for it to look kind of refined. I know people like to um, do their twists two and three times. You know, I just like my stuff to look really defined every time, which is keeps me, you know, twisting my hair constantly. And I'm just showing you, and I twist it. You know, I'll, I mean, if you've got longer hair, you might not want to twist it all the way to the end. You know, you don't have to. And you can just kind of go to the base. And just as soon as it starts to knot, you hold that knot and make sure you just continue to twist it around until you get to that little base. And then you want to bobby pin it in. Now these, I must tell you, are not comfortable to sleep in at all. These are not comfortable. My head is so, usually pretty sore in the morning, but that's because I do tie them pretty tight. And I know a lot of people don't tie them as tight, but my hair, I mean, I guess you would say it's thick, but I don't consider it thick. You know, when I had a relaxer, that was one of my biggest issues was, you know, the skin, the, the skin being sensitive on my hair. You know, I don't have a sensitive scalp or anything, but um, I just, you know, have a tender scalp, I guess you could say. You know, you can comb my hair, but... Don't be uh, digging your nails in my head. I don't like that. <laughs> Some people like that when somebody scratched the hell out your head. And I, I just don't like that. Do not rub it with the balls of your, you know, your fingers. Just rub it. Oh, that feels good. But when you start scratching it with your nails, especially when you got some of uh, those acrylic nails and you're scratching, no. And then you got other clients scalp scratching your hand. And, uh uh. See, and I mean, <laughs> oh, you know how I go. Hmm. I don't like that kind of germy stuff. But um, I do. I don't think that you should scratch your scalp. I think that um, causes irritation. I dropped my bobby pin. Hold on a second. <laughs> I'm back. And so that's the last one. Yay! Ooh, now I can you can either like just you know if it's early in the day you can kind of just rock this as a style I don't know I wouldn't I don't like it you know it's not my thing but 
you can rock this as a style maybe put a hat on for the day let it dry out or you know if you, you're cramped for time and you only have a couple of hours you can um, sit on sit under a dryer and it dries now that is one thing about this Murray's lock gel is it dries tremendously quickly which is a beautiful thing when you're doing your hair and twists and knots and so forth and you don't have a lot of time so this is a great thing Smells wonderful. It's actually got olive oil and sweet almond oil and will not flake and reduces itching. And it also recommends a Murray's Liquid Beeswax, which I'm definitely going to be trying. So come look for that to see how that is. And that says it actually relieves tightness and helps retain your style longer. And it is so moisturizing on your scalp, I can feel it. So I definitely would recommend it. Murray's Gel Lock Jet Lock Lock. It's actually only like $3.99. I bought it at Target. I'm sure you could probably get it at a beauty supply store for a lot cheaper. And like I said, it's very light and consistent. See, there will be no flakes in my hair in the morning. I'll show you. So, good look. Um, we'll see what it looks like in the morning. Um, try it out. I definitely recommend all Shea Moisture. Shea Moisture. Shea Moisture. Shea Moisture. Shea Moisture. Um, so, um, see you later. Coco Natural. Bye-bye.